Hi everyone, Phil Pendlebury here, and I hope you're having a super mega large day. Today, I'm gonna to have a quick look at a brand new plugin from Waves. It's called Silk Vocal. And in fact, I'm using it on my lav mic uh, through OBS right now. It's really useful. So let's get the headphones on and have a quick look at it. Okay, so I've got uh, Cubase 12 open here. I've got a little bit of recorded voice. This is gonna be a very short video. Just wanna quickly show you through some of the features and have a quick listen to the voice clip. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. So you guys will have heard that clip a few times if you've watched any of my live videos let's um zoom in and there's the plugin so we can open up the bottom part as well while we're at it i'll just make sure it's in the center so you can see it so the idea of this plugin is basically to work on voices or vocals uh, i'm just going to quickly show you through the features on a voice so first of all let's just enable it and you can see here we've got choice between male or female. I'm going to choose male. I'm going to disable all the features uh, before we kind of carry on. So let's run the voice and have a little fiddle about. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. So you can see here we've got the low area, uh, which is the whole point of this is to redu reduce boominess. So this is between 100 and 300 hertz. Um, you can have a quick listen to what's been taken out uh, by clicking the headphones button here. This is the same on all of them. So let's have a quick listen to the low and get that. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll... That's what's being taken out. Show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. Okay, let's move over to the mid area. We'll leave the low enabled. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. And then we've got the DSA. This is just, you know, high end resonances and so on, and uh, sibilance. By the way, yeah, this is harshness. There's no specific frequency here, but you can, um, on the mid one, you can actually move um, the frequency that it affects, so you can kind of ignore some of the frequencies. I'll just show you that. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. Personally, I just like to leave it as it is. We'll leave the uh, de-esser as it is. One final feature in this main middle section here would be the uh, delta here, which uh, enables you to listen to exactly what's being taken out. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Okay, moving on, we have the dynamics section here. So this, in, you know, gives you a little bit of uh, compression. And the more we move this down, the more compression we'll get. So let's put that into action. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. A little bit over the top. Ah, looks like someone's reading. And a nice little feature here is the dynamic uh, grouping, sort of, or syncing, they call it, uh, which means that, let's say, we, let's set the dynamics you know, somewhere, you know, reasonable. And what we can do is increase or decrease that, and it will automatically change the output signal. Reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things so going you, on here. You can see that uh, if I drag this up and down, it's moving the dynamics, uh, but also if I, dra if I push the dynamics up, or more dynamics, then we're getting less gain from the output here. So let's just set that back to something that I like, and we'll leave the that at zero. 
High pass filter, that's 60 hertz, so I think definitely we shall enable that. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. As it's a voice, you know, it's always good. This next uh, control would be to adjust the attack and release of the process. I don't know if we'll be able to hear. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out. And then the precision which gives you more curves. And if, we, if you look carefully here, you can see. Out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you. So that's smoother. And then sharper here, we've got kind of more points on the EQ. Here's some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. Again, somewhere in the middle, it's quite nice. Um, then we've got the smart makeup game. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Finally, we can hear it. Mm -hmm. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Again, useful. And finally, we have a gate. So let's just... Uh... Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which... Let's have a quick listen. Uh, the mix, obviously, is to, you know, give you between the uh, clean signal and the affected signal. Which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. So let's just have a quick listen again. I know you're probably getting tired of hearing that voice loop. Uh, let's have a quick listen without the effect. Ah, looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two. And enabled. We're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. Hello, can I help you? Hmm. Quite a considerable difference. Um, this voice has already been processed, plus it's not actually in mono. Perhaps we should have used a mono signal, but anyway. Um, as a bonus, what comes along with this is a live version. You can spot that by a slightly different color. And the live version has lower latency, and that's the one I'm actually using in OBS. Uh, you know, because it's live. And it's equipped with a minimum phase filter that allows very low latency. Uh, CP usage varies depending on the sample rate and buffer size and so on. And what Waves say is, for mixing purposes, you can use the main Silk vocal component, which employs linear phase filters that are more precise and accurate, but introduce higher latency. And there might be a slight difference in the sound. You just have to see which one works best for you. We can have a quick listen to it, though. In fact, what we can do very quickly, I'll, I will actually just save this preset that we've made now. Let's just save that. So this is with the live version. It looks like someone's reading the news. Here in Studio Two, we're recording an advert for a new movie which is coming out next year. And this is with the non-live version. Hello, can I help you? Hmm, no problem. Come on in and I'll show you some of the things going on here. We're recording lots of voices today. Let's have a look and see what's going on in Studio One. So you can hear a bit of a difference there, but it's not too drastic. And to be honest, all you need to do is adjust the settings um, a little bit, you know? So, okay. As this was a very quick look, um, you can obviously use it on vocals as well. Maybe we can do another video on that, but I just thought you might like to see a quick uh, look at the new Waves Silk Vocal. Very useful. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.